Basically, the world is gonna end. Again? We thought it was gonna end in the year 2000. I wasn't alive. Then we thought it was gonna end in 2012. There's also a multitude of reason why, reasons why people think there's gonna be a, an apocalypse. People could get too much plastic surgery, injections, the bubble things that they put in people's ass and boobs. And what if randomly it blows up? That could end the world. We could easily get sucked into another dimension at any moment. <laughs> also, the person that owns KFC could say that we're all chickens. And they could oh, yeah. put us in the chicken houses and then we'd all die. That, that is that is a possibility. I never thought about that, but that could easily happen. Basically, I did like two hours of research the other week and I bought some survival under the world apocalypse items. And today we're gonna test them. I guess if the under the war does happen, um, there would be no water supply. So in the video, I didn't explain it well, but if this under the war scenario happens, there would be no water supply, plus the water would be dirty, so then you can't make coffee, you know, because coffee has, like, you use water to make coffee, so you'd have to find somewhere else to get coffee. Boom. We're all obsessed with caffeine and we'd all die if we didn't have it and we'd have mental breakdowns. So these are coffee tablets that you just like eat like a gummy. I do have to say though, is this a scam? Akamit says caffeine free. Wait, in like the bio it says caffeine energy, chew three pack, 200 milligrams of caffeine, but then it says caffeine free. Wait, the very first review is a one star? The reviews are kind of shady. What if for some reason they put THC in these and and I'm- Wait, what? Like, I was just thinking, like, I just don't want to get high out of my mind right now. Oh, that'd be such a waste of money for them, though. Well, because, like, those, like, gummies, you know? So I was just thinking, like, what if they also have a- It's the same plant that they make these gummies in, but that's just me making shit up. Okay, so there's two gummies in here, and each one is 100 milligrams of caffeine. Do you want to try a little bit or no? I just don't want to be caffeinated. Let's pop, 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 pop. This is, like, the little, like, VIP section, and it's, like, yeah, I paid like for this table and you're just like, you're just like in the club and like you want to be with me, okay? Okay, guys, like, wait, are they popping pills in the VIP section? <gasps> <laughs> this one is flavored like salted caramel chocolate and exactly how it tastes. Do you taste any sort of coffee? No, it is like dark chocolate though. There's also mint chocolate, which sounds so good. Dutch chocolate? Like what was the texture? Did it taste like a granola bar? Like that type of texture? Like a healthy granola bar, like RX bar? Yeah, it reminded me um of a date granola bar. You know, Lao oh, bars okay. and all that shit. A lot of the reviews were saying it it's expensive. So for three packs, it's $12. So well, that'd be six coffees for $12. Well, yeah, that is pricey, but it's like the same as going to like Starbucks, I guess. So if you yeah. really love these. I remember being on Twitter a while back and um, I read this thing where you don't actually feel they fucks like happy for like 15 minutes or something. Really? Yeah, but this just proves that it's all of a side because I ate that and now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm energized. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I don't have an under the ward bunker. <laughs> um, Yet. I would add these to my underground bunker. Who, who, hooray. <laughs> I do feel like if I was actually planning a bunker, I wouldn't get these just because of the price. They're so expensive. If I wanted an actual lifetime supply, wouldn't that be so expensive? Boo. That's true. I got a life straw. This has been hyped online for like the legit the last five years, six years, eight years. Yeah, at first I didn't know what you were talking about, but once you explained it, I have heard of this. The first time I heard about it, it wasn't used in an under the world apocalypse scenario. It was more of just like, oh, if you're going camping and you don't have any water, you can just do, do this. I've been talking shit about the end of the world in this video, but I feel like this is something everyone might as well have, you know what I mean? Basically, you can drink any water if you drink it through this straw. Yeah, it said it removes 99 point nine 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 percent of bacteria and parasites and microplastics so you can literally drink shit water i think people have drank their own piss with this wait utter disappointment are you joking but then this person says exactly as amazing as people told you no wait, then uh, one off the reviews one star good luck okay yeah let's not read this negativity no because go go up go up Look at the reviews, 81,000 reviews, and it basically has five stars. Jacob's gonna piss in a cup, I'm gonna shit in a bucket, and we're gonna try this. 
Piss shit starting now! Apparently with this life straw, you can like drink Diet Coke and... Well, I haven't heard of heavy whipping cream, but if you like put this liquid that isn't water, if you drink it through the life straw, all of the other stuff will go out and you'll just be drinking water. But this straw is huge. Oh my, I didn't realize it was that big of a contraption. Do you see this? Thick and long. That's, yeah. But that, <laughs> that's the truth, you know? That is what it is. Oh, I'm gonna be a, a life straw person and put it oh, as yeah. a necklace. I'm gonna always wear this as a necklace. Honestly, every human should. It's kind of like a, it's kind of also a fashion statement. Oh, wow. You know, it's going down. There's, I've jigged nothing, by the way. Oh, really? It's definitely going up the tube. Yeah, I've got stuff. It tastes like Diet Coke, though. Let me drink some and spit it into this yeah. to see if it's still brown. <laughs> Don't zoom in on this, because I feel like people are going to click that. It was but brown. It still looks like Diet Coke. I mean, it did taste a little bit less flavored. But, like, thank God you didn't drink piss. Well, isn't it supposed to get rid of, like... Bacteria. And then maybe they knows that there's no bacteria in the Diet Coke, but how would it be that small? When I was using it, it sucks it into this contraption, and then it takes a while to clean it, and then you get the liquid. So it's like a process. It's like osmosis. Does it feel like a lot of work? <laughs> I mean, if it's the end of the world, you you have to be willing to like suck on this. You know? <laughs> That's what she Why said. Why does everyone have to have a pull water in mind? That's what she said. <laughs> now we have some heavy whipping cream. Who would be using um, a life shop for heavy whipping cream? But, you know, I thought, F it, let's try it. Oh, this is thick as my mama. I mean, like, like a thick personality. Oh, you're I, saying mom's not thick? That didn't sound like sexual though, right? Was that the whole point? You're <laughs> sexually attracted to mom. Ew. <laughs> Is this supposed to be this hard? Or am I just doing it? I right? think the filter just takes a while. I'm gonna make sure I do, I'm doing it right. I thought you're supposed to let it sit there for 20 seconds. Oh yeah, let it sit there for 20 seconds. Yeah, it does say that. It is literally so simple. There's like no instructions. These are just different languages. Okay, time's up. This tastes like water? <gasps> This like whole situation is so funny to me. Just like being filmed sucking on a life straw. I haven't got anything yet. Remember the direction said five giant gulps. This might be too thick. Yeah, heavy whipping cream um, won't work. So if you're in a place where the water turns into jelly, I don't think it would work. Let's take it to the lake. Yeah, th th that's like what it's meant for. It's not even meant for these scenarios. Looks good. Me and Lucas made it to the Atlantic Ocean. We're on the beach right now. The waves are coming in. It's beautiful living by the ocean. Like so, the beach, then you marry one. <laughs> <sighs> when I was picturing me drinking lake water, I was picturing me in like the depths of the lake, not on like the outer parts. This is so shallow. Oh, Whoa. lay on a stomach on the dock. Okay, right now it's the dock. Is it filming? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> I can't. You have to. Actually, so, I just like, I just am like viewing it in like this lens. That's like so gross. You have to. You have to. <laughs> you already promised the fans. <laughs> I play it say I think. Gross ass. <laughs> <laughs> keep slurping. <laughs> It's like a workout. <laughs> Something about it though is that the um, whipping cream that we used could have ruined it. Oh crap. The whipped cream might have ruined it. I honestly think that's what happened. Boo! I really wanted to drink lake water. It should work, but it didn't. Yeah, I'm not blaming the product. I'm blaming you for trying weird stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing too. We just were watching this video of this guy drinking muddy lake water and he just was sloping and it went up the straw so fast so it might be a thing where yeah the heavy whipping cream just ruined my life straw <laughs> and this guy it worked for this guy so yeah 
At least you gotta use it on Diet Coke before you completely ruined it forever. <sighs> Pull my camera off before I get too mad. This is free dried lasagna with meat sauce. People use this for camping, but it also would be an under the world goodie. Never heard of lasagna being dehydrated. I love lasagna, so if this and is I'm good- I'm excited. I love Italian food. If you're planning for the under the world, you don't want to spend $8 on every meal. Oh, that's expensive. How so, much does this serve? This is only one serving. Oh, it's two servings, but I'd probably eat the whole thing. If you were for real planning for the under the world, you'd get one of these like $80 buckets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one would like last for... Let's 92 see. servings. Oh yeah, so it would last for a whole month. Well, if you only ate this and you had three meals a day. I mean, that looks gourmet, you know? I know, is this lasagna like actually gonna like look damn ass good? This is kind of like a fancy one. Yeah, it kind of looks really... Well, this actually has pretty good reviews. So, it better be tasty. Let's get to munching. I don't want to get up. I mean, neither. <sighs> Time for afternoon snack. This is so easy to prepare. You just get one and a half cups of boiling water. You pour it into here, so there's nothing to clean. They really do it for you at Mountain House. <laughs> that was a clip of me being clumsy. <laughs> because being clumsy is relatable and cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have a cut over here and we're just gonna start boiling the water. Let's well, do its thing. If this was actually the end of the war, you wouldn't be able to boil water. You would have to, um, since I've been Googling it, I like, kinda know what to do. Um, there's like these stove pouches that you can buy and you just light it and then you can have like a mini stove thing. Over a fireplace? Over a pot. Well, it already is a fire in this little. It's really? called like stono or something. Oh, just a little fire tablet? Yeah, well, you have to turn it. Get to um, light a match or something, or a lighter. Okay, what's it smell like? It smells like Stouffer's lasagna. Oh, I thought this was gonna be good. It looks like actual lasagna. Isn't there people out there that probably just eat these every day just because, and they live in like a normal civil, like, oh, they, they live wanna, in a civilization that has water and They stuff. wanna feel like the world's ending. Oh, they just like how it tastes. Uh, it says to pour one and a half cups in here, but during the end of the world, who has mushroom cups? You know? Yeah, no one has time for that. It's done, right? It hasn't beef, but it's done. When should I stop? Uh, probably way more. Like that? A little bit more? That's good. Joel, okay, careful. Yeah, hurry. Holy. <laughs> now, let's wait five minutes. It's been like 10 minutes and we're back. And we did realize the do not eat packet was in there. Thankfully we took this out because what if we wouldn't eat this? I mean, it's <laughs> pretty impossible to chew through. Oh but yeah. Why did they even put those in there? I don't get it. I think it makes the food uh, last longer or something. Oh, uh, doesn't look like Olive Garden. It's a little bit too watery. Did we add too much? Yeah, we did. We might've added too much because it's like more of a lasagna soup. Yeah. Why don't you just bring canned food? Yeah, because that's way easier than Yeah, this. you can see that raw out of the can. You can get um Chef Boyardee lasagna, I'm guessing that's a thing. Okay. All right. It keeps <laughs> slipping. Tails. I'm actually not gonna eat because of the do not eat thing. Sorry. For some reason I'm grossed out. Just like probably canned food good. Yeah, I mean it tastes how you expect it to taste. It's not like amazing, but yeah, it tastes like Chapwardi kinda. And like the meat does taste like meat. And the noodles are like perfectly al dente. No, I'm just joking. They're more like soggy. I for sure wouldn't eat, the, eat this regularly, but if I'm on a hike, I'd eat it. And also when the water ends, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, just for joking. sure. I'm not gonna say when the water ends, cause I don't want to end. I will eventually. <laughs> who, who, hooray. This is the same brand, but it's an ice cream sandwich for oh. when the war ends, you also get dissolved. I used to want some sweets every now and then. But this is pretty inconvenient. It was like $2 and only one ice cream sandwich comes in one package. Right, how long do these even last? Okay, to May 2024. It's like, what happens after the three years? You would think with like under the ward products, it would last for like 20 years. This one, you just, you just eat it. 
I'm pretty sure I've had something like this because they also call this type of stuff astronaut food. Oh, because, I remember that YouTube trend. Yeah, because apparently, like when you're in space, you can't eat what food. I know there's not like instant pots or whatever. Let's see some ASMR. Oh, okay. Give it to them. <laughs> I mean, this looks Give just- Give them what they want, you know? <laughs> so is this actually an ice cream sandwich or like, is it made differently? Like that's what I, I want to know. I want to see what the ingredients are. Milk, cream, sugar, corn. It tastes like an actual ice cream sandwich. It's mm. good. Oh my god. For the end of the world, this is good. Like, I do miss the moisture, though. Oh my end of the world kit, I don't think I would have this because I'm not gonna buy, like, 500 inch of individually wrapped <laughs> dried ice cream sandwiches. That's just dumb. Oh, dog. yeah. But I do have to say it hits. Who, who, hooray. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Has it been 15 minutes since I tried a maca shot? Probably. This is actual caffeine. I, I do, you do actually feel caffeinated? boosted. Let's try the mint chocolate. <laughs> this is like way more gummy. Can you taste the mint and everything? It's strong. Yeah, like the flavors are there. If they lowered the price a little bit and like brought it into like Walmart and everything, this brand would pop. I actually could see that. It's time for a rant. We mumble in 2020 last year when yeah. everyone bought up toilet paper because they thought it was gonna go out of stack. Kind of yeah. the same thing. People think that when the world ends, you need toilet paper to wipe your ass. But my rant is, why during the end of the world or the zombie apocalypse, whatever you guys believe, or like whatever you believe, mm -hmm. why would you need toilet paper? That's what I don't get like, boo, if the world's ending, you just use your shirt or just walk around Dirty. I'm pretty sure in the olden days they just got leaf soft trees. You you don't need toilet paper. I'm not claiming to be like an outdoorist. If, is that what an outdoor <laughs> person that like, I know how to do everything outdoors, but I am mad that all these blogs are claiming that you need toilet paper. Yes, it would be nice to have toilet paper, but if you have minimal room, it's not needed in my opinion. But the whole thing is like, no matter how much toilet paper you stack up, eventually you're gonna run out, so. It's good to have, but do you need it at the end of the world? I feel like it shouldn't be on the top of your list. Oh yeah, like it's if- It's not going in my bunker. This right here is a tiny survival guide. Apparently it has 242 tips and skills for emergency, camping, disaster, adventure, and survival. So it's something you keep in your pocket when you go on a hike or whatever, and it'll just have any possible situation, it'll have something for you. But in this scenario, when it's the under the wall, mm -hmm. you need this in your pocket. Oh, uh, oh yeah, so then if anything happens, like, oh, what should I do when it will be in there? 240 scenarios, like, that should answer, like, basically anything. If this is your only source of survival knowledge, you need to get more prepared. Oh. Is it worth paying for the info when it's free to find? I mean, But yeah. they don't get it. The internet's not going to be around in these situations. You, all you'll have is this. That's true. God, Mr. Z. Let's open this sucker up and... Ask ask a question and see if we can find an answer. What's this? The little case for it. Oh, it's um to have everything magnified. It spreads out into this whole thing. Think of a question. I'll try to find it in here. Right now we're stranded on a hike. Oh, um, an animal just bit my elbow. Am oh. I going to get poisoned and die? One sec, I'm still trying to figure well, out. Well, I'm already thinking about it. What if this animal was a snake and I'm already dying when you're trying to find the animal? I know, I'm like, I'm rushing to find it. That'd be so... Stressful. I'm sure it's on here somewhere, but I can't find it at It's all. not on there. There has to be something in here. About an animal biting you? Yeah, is it, that, that's such a big issue. Check the other side. Uh, eh. Like, you think it'd be injury. <gasps> Oh, snake bite. You said you got bit by a snake, okay, right? Okay, yeah, okay, what do we do? It's being useful. Avoid venomous snakes. Bitch, you already got bit. If bit, keep bite lower than the heart. I wouldn't have known that. Stay Maybe. calm, do not try to suck the venom out, which, how come in the movies they always do that then? That's, I thought the first step would be to suck the venom suck out. Suck it out and then spit it out. Take notice of snake features and take photo, wait, and get to a hospital? This is the end of the world. There isn't gonna be a hospital. Let's still go out in the wild and like, see if it's useful. Yeah, let's do it. Try to get into a bad situation. I don't want to get up though. <laughs> I'm so prepared for the under the world. I always keep the tiny survival guide in my pocket.
I mean, there's a section on this that shows how to beat the F up, beat someone the F up. Oh, that's good to know right now. What's this gonna do? Choke, twist, and hit? Blaine, protect it. Should we just try it out? Lucas said I can beat him up and see if it actually works. So like, oh. apparently after I do this, you're gonna be unconscious. Oh, right, that's fine, it's for the video. How, how, how do you feel now? Wait, I just woke up out here? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that hurt. Um, I'm gonna say, um, this survival guide, like, would be useful. Uh, I kinda think it's a piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, because, why? Because, like, because, like, for example, the whole snake bite thing. And, like, even the uh, fighting thing, it's like, when are you gonna have time to look at this when you're in the middle of a fight? But it is kinda useful. It's a little piece of shit. It's kinda useful. It's a literal garbage. I guess we can't agree on anything. Okay. This one isn't from Amazon, this is just, it's a flashlight. That's always good to have. Basically, I wanna test, do you actually need a flashlight or can you just use your phone? Your well, smartphone. They'll run, run out of battery. This is gonna run out of battery too. So what I'm saying is if you have a shitty flashlight like this, I'm not saying this is shitty, but for the under the world, this would run out of battery sooner or later. Okay, how bright is it? So if you put your phone on low battery mode and use the flashlight, I'm assuming it would last like, I think like a week with the new iPhones. Yeah, I think it would last a week. Well, in this Core article, which Core is very accurate, yeah. they hire like scientists to answer every question. Someone asked, how long will the iPhone 5 battery last with the flashlight on at 100%? People do have iPhone 5s, but I'm assuming most people have like the iPhone 8. Mm -hmm. So it would be even longer than this. The battery done up to one to two days, if <laughs> it will go if the battery is at good condition. We're gonna see if you actually even need a flashlight. Oh, Because like we're really not into one. Oh, I don't want to get up though. Neither. So what do we do? So the war just ended. LOL. So all the lights are out. Laugh out loud. The only thing we have are flashlights. Yeah, Um. I was thinking since the war ended, I might as well do a flashlight review on my channel, you know? Oh I'm, yeah. I'm guessing someone will watch it. Yeah, for sure. And isn't like Coca-Cola still running ads on YouTube? Uh-huh. We have this generic flashlight. Oh, that, that, that gives pretty good light. Okay, we can see a distance in front of us, you know? Like, I can see what's over there, over there, and it's pretty far away. The camera's detecting a face next to you. Boo, stop it! <laughs> it actually scares me. <laughs> <laughs> this one's doing good, okay? Yeah. Okay, you need to stop being scary. I'm not <laughs> joking. All I did was say, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually like, scared even though it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> even though it's under the board, my phone is still fully charged, so I'm also going to try this flashlight. <laughs> We're back. Um, something happened, you know? <laughs> Don't ask. Back to testing the foam flashlight. <gasps> I think the the um the generic one was better. Yeah, the foam flashlight isn't that good, low key. Yeah, this one's way brighter. Yeah. I'm saying it right here. When the under the wall happens, you should get an actual flashlight. Cause I'm so smart about like I'm into under the wall stuff, you know. So I know. Who who hooray? <laughs> so what makes this different than a regular blanket? Let's go on Amazon and see. Wait, this is something a crazy person would wear. A <laughs> tin foil, you know? This also would be useful for if you're going sledding and you get cold easily. Oh yeah, like that girl. I'm pretty sure you just wrap it around yourself and it makes you really warm. That much warmer. Oh my god, the reviews are actually very good. Wait, oh my <laughs> gosh. People are in love. Well, if people are in love, I want to be in love. Oh. So let's try it. I want to get up though. I want to get up though. I want to get up though. <laughs> This is a full pack of thermal blankets. So if the world actually does end, um, I have three extras. Oh my god, give me one? No. It's like 60 degrees out, right? Yeah. So I'm wearing a long sleeve, so I'm gonna take it off to get like cold, you know? Take it off, I guess, huh? Stream now? <laughs> wow, I'm getting cold. 
unzip these. Oh, that's really gonna get you cold. Oh, pull them up. Okay, I'm freezing. I need a heated blanket. What are these called? A oh, thermal blanket. <laughs> you, I don't like the look of this. It reminds me of aliens. <laughs> There's other people at this park and I feel like they're like, what the fuck is this boy doing? <laughs> little tin foil blanket boy. <laughs> I mean, it is a look. Okay, when it does make you like so much warmer. Really? Yeah, it makes me feel good. Like, I feel warmer now. You try it. Go to time. <laughs> Even though it's literally just a piece of, a piece of aluminum. <laughs> I can't tell, is it working? Yeah, I guess it is. I'd rather have like a cotton blanket though. It works. It's a thermal blanket and it works. Who, who, hooray. Hopefully now you're kind of prepared for the under the ward slash the zombie apocalypse. I didn't mean to fail Mongo, but did I? Um, we just want everyone to know the world's gonna end. I'm just kidding. <laughs> bye. But now you know it's a bye. At least be cute.